Algo Expert rocks as a FANG interview prep platform, but can its little sister Systems Expert live up to those expectations? We are going behind the scenes today and looking at this platform. Now, if you're on YouTube with any regularity, there's a good chance you've seen an Algo Expert video ad or two. I've been seeing more and more systems expert ads courtesy of Clement. He has a great YouTube channel. Check it out. But he is the co-founder of Algo Expert. This is his flagship offering. I did a review on it a few weeks ago. Check it out. It's popping up on the screen right now if you haven't seen it. But this isn't about Algo Expert. This is about systems expert. When you go in and they ask you, okay, how would you design Netflix? Or how would you design Algo Expert? How would you design one of these big systems? And unlike coding questions, when you're asked a systems question, they're really probing your knowledge of architecting and engineering. And what is interesting about this platform is that there are only eight questions here. So that right away, people are like, oh, there's only eight. And when you compare that to Algo Expert, there's a hundred questions. The thing is when you're being interviewed on systems, you're taking a long time to explain how you would design these things. And one of the reasons that is, is because you're asking your interviewer some clarifying questions, you're gathering requirements, you're refining your engineering process. And so they're a lot more labor intensive. And just like I said on my review with Algo Expert, I have to stress this. This is not for juniors. This is not for aspiring developers. This is for a very specific subset of software engineers and software developers who are looking for FANG jobs. This is not going to make you a better engineer. This is not going to make you a better engineer. This is not going to make you a better engineer. They're designed to help you land a job at a FANG company. That's it. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's get into it. The course is divided into two main segments. So the first segment is systems design fundamentals, and there are 22 modules in here. They're video based, and I'll show you that in just a moment. One of the first things though, I have to say, I was a little confused because the sales page is also the course page. So to access the course, you have to go down here. And it took me a while to realize there's actually a second part to this course, because I thought it was just down here. Oh, start the course. I thought this was the entirety of the course. And I'm like, okay, so where are the actual system design questions? One of the things that popped out right away to me as I was just kind of skimming through this was the writing style. It's really engaging, it's succinct, and it's funny. I think the funniest description was down here on module 11, hashing. Hashing? Like from hash tables? Should be simple enough, right? The good news is that yes, hashing like from hash tables. The bad news is that no, not simple enough. The video duration and thumbnail should be ominously indicative. I can just hear Clement in these descriptions and they keep things engaging because let's be honest, some of these topics are not the most compelling because they are abstract and keeping people engaged as much as you can is so important with this type of material. And I think he does a great job. I think he and his team do a great job of doing that because I definitely was engaged reading these descriptions. So these things do go in order. It's very explicit up here. Keep them in order, start with the intro and then work your way down. And eventually on each one of these, you have key terms. And these are some terms you may or may not be using once you get to the challenge questions, network protocols, storage, latency, and throughput. And then on lesson six, we also start seeing the prerequisites in addition to the key terms. So that's the video section. And then down here, once you finish that video section, you slide right in to start these questions. And if you've used Algo Expert or tried Algo Expert, these are going to look familiar. This layout's going to look really familiar. I love these panels and these panes. The interactivity of this and the control the user gets, really impressive. So we have the prompt. We also have a scratch pad we can toggle. We also have two other options here, a video solution and a solution walkthrough. So this challenge is to design Algo Expert. And as you can see, pretty vague. And as it says here, many systems design questions are intentionally left very vague and are literally given in the form of design foobar. So here are the clarifying questions and each one is a little drop down. Handy ones you want to be made aware of. For example, are we designing the entire Algo Expert platform or just a specific part of it, like the coding workspace? Things you want to be asking your interviewer when you are in the hot seat at these interviews. These video solutions are very thorough. For example, this design Algo Expert video is 48 minutes plus. There's also the text walkthrough if the video isn't cutting it or you just want some extra bit of information. One thing to know about this platform too is that they just didn't create it and then move on to the next thing. 
I logged on the other week and they had added a language to Algo Expert. They recently added two additional questions to Systems Expert. They're working on them continuously. And honestly, there aren't systems design prep doesn't get a lot of love. The only other course I can think of out there that is really good is Grokking the System Design Interview. I also did a review on this course. The biggest difference between this one, this one's on Educative, this is a really good platform, but the biggest difference between Grokking and Systems is that Systems is video based and Grokking is a little more interactive. As you can see, they have a ton of illustrations, two playgrounds, code snippets. I think they probably have more questions or more um, design challenges. It looks like they do just by quick, quickly glancing at it, a few more challenges than systems, but not a huge amount because again, a lot of what you're doing during a systems design interview is communicating, gathering requirements, and improving that design. So they're not asking you to design five things during one of these interviews. Just answering one of these questions can take you an hour. So it's really not about quantity when it comes to systems and systems design interview prep materials. But other than grokking, I mean, I really don't see anyone else doing it. If you're looking for something video based from someone who's actually worked at Google, from someone who's worked at Facebook, who used his own platform to get a job at Facebook, I would say check out Systems Expert. You're probably asking how much it is. Shabam, he has the combo. Uh, Algo and Systems for $129. That is per year. That's one year access. Algo Expert is $99. Systems is $60. And all these are year long access. And I think it gives you a discount um, if you re up after that year. It's like 30% off or something. Last time I checked, for 60 bucks, if something can help you land a job at a fang, yeah. I think it's definitely worth it. And again, because it is designed by someone who worked at these places, who knows what these people are looking for, it's an insightful platform, it's an engaging platform, and the video solutions and the video walkthroughs are just great. And like I said in my review for Algo Expert, I just love this interface. Just be sure to scroll down to these questions so you don't miss them because that's a big part of the course too. I think because Algo Expert is so popular, Systems is not gonna ever get the love it deserves in its own right, but it should because it is, it's just as high quality as Algo, but it's just a different type of interview prep. Let me know what you think in the comments if you guys have taken this course Course. Shout out to Clement and his team for creating another just wonderful platform for all the hype of people wanting to land a fang job. We really don't see a lot of high quality interview prep materials for those jobs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, smash a button, subscribe to this channel. More videos coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.